Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand a config element which is CSV dataset config. So we can check it over here. We have CSV dataset config. In this, we can define a separate CSV file. So I'm going to create one CSV file and we are going to define a lot of variables over there. We can maintain a separate CSV file and we can define value of the variables over here. So first value I'm defining gmail.com, other value I'm defining yahoo.com. So as of now, we have one row in one row, I have defined two values. We can save it. I'm saving it to any location. So I'm saving it to my the format should be CSV. So I'm selecting the format. That's a CSV file and giving the name is test data. So test data dot CSV and saving it to any other directory like I'm saving it to my E. So test data dot CSV. Now moving to the JMeter and I want to pick the data which is coming from the CSV file and I want to use the data in a test case. So for that I am going to add it CSV dataset config. So here first we need to define the location of the file so which is E and test data dot CSV. Now we need to define name of the variable so first data i want to pick into the url1 and second data i want to pick in url2 so these should be comma separated as you can see by default it's a comma and now so both the variables will come and store into the url1 and url2 i can use the value of the url in our steps so again using by dollar url1 and then dollar url2 so everything is set i am clearing the result running it so first it will execute dataset config which will pick the data from csv and store into the url1 and url2 then my samplers are going to execute with the data which is coming from the csv file so by this way we can pick the data which is coming from the csv file and store into the variable and then we can use the variable in our test case we are going to use this csv go data set config when we have a lot of variables and the value of the variable are frequently changed so in that case we will define a separate file in which we will maintain values of all the variables and and we will use these variable in our test case one most important thing we need to notice we need to maintain all the variables in the first row and we need not to define the name of the variable we can just pass the value whenever we are going to read the csv file here we are going to define name of the variable value will come from the csv file and store into these variables after that we can use these variable anywhere as of now i have added this csv dataset config on the thread group level means we can use this csv dataset config in this test case only but if you want to make it global like if we have 20 thread group and i want to use these variables in all the thread groups then we can place this file at test plan level so now this file is in the test plan it can be used by the thread group one and if we have more thread group so we can use that value in the more thread group as well like i have a th two thread group now i have two thread group so the value which is coming from this file can be used in any of the thread group Thanks for watching this video.